Hey guys, happy day after 4th of July, which is Thursday. Oh my God. I thought my, I thought my, um, whatever it's called, screen was like fogging up from all of the sweat. Um, can you tell? Can you see? I just like to let you see a close up of Sweatalicious. And as I put out on Twitter, I'd like you to witness Kelly's dumbass move of the of the week. Let's just say of the day, because there's really so many stupid things I do and say. Um, you know, I don't want to limit your material to make fun of. So hold on. I brought this. Uh, remember, I told you these guys sent me this omega three water, which I haven't even. I haven't looked into. It's obviously like a. Um, electrolyte kind of a thing. Okay, I can't really talk right now. I had to literally come in. I'm all over the place right now already, I know. But I brought this with me. I went like an idiot. Sorry, I went like an idiot. Of course I didn't bring my towel over here. Damn. Um, I went um, running outside and I'm not gonna lie. I looked at the weather first because I didn't feel like I had time to go to Lifetime. So I'm like, I'm just gonna run outside. I'm gonna be okay. I'll run at the track. That way I'm close to my car, I'm close to my towel. Because just so that you know, normally when I go out, when I run outside, I park my car, I go to a track, and then I run through the neighborhood. So I'll run a mile and a half out. Right now I'm just doing three miles. I run a mile and a half out and then a mile and a half back. Um, so today I'm like, okay, it says heat advisory on the Weather Channel. It says that it's 95 degrees right now. I gotta get my towel. I'm sweating. Sorry. Sorry. You know you're sweating profusely when it's in your eyes. It's been an issue for me lately. So much so. Is that a new detergent? I like it when the towel is smelling. I like gain. I use gain. This smells like cologne. And no, there's no reason there'd be cologne on my towels, for those of you that are asking. Um, anyway, yeah, I saw it was a heat advisory and like a dumbass. I'm like, it's okay, I can go outside, I'll just stay on the track. So here's what's funny. I did my warm-up, I do one lap as a warm-up, and then I did the first mile at, I think I was averaging, uh, really gotta get a uh, heart rate monitor replacement. Um, because now it's like starting to be ridiculous that I'm using my freaking iPod. Um, I uh, so did I did one mile, uh, one, golly, a quarter of a mile warm up, and then the first mile I did five miles an hour, um, and then the second mile I did the first two. I tried to slow down a little bit because I'm like I'm starting to feel it, so I paced myself to go slower, closer to 4.5. Then I stopped had some water, had some of this goodness. Um, by the way, for those of you that are gonna ask, there's two and a half servings in here, eight ounces, 45 calories each. So 90 and then, is that right? 90 and then half of 45 is 23, so about 113 for the whole thing. Is that right? Did I do that right? Um, um, so then I stopped, had that, then I did the next two, um, two laps, that is, quarter of a mile. Um, probably closer to four miles an hour, to be honest. I think I was really starting to drag. By the time I was on my hitting the fourth, uh, sorry, not the fourth mile, the third mile, that lap, I couldn't even get all the way around. I was just so heavy and, and really kind of just starting to feel like, um, ooh, having a problem here. And then, this road that I go on is, there's always cops driving by, and this cop pulled in and kind of honked at me, and I'm like, I hope he's cute. I'll get back to you on that later. Anyway, he was, he actually said, in, his, in a nice way, um, dumbass, what are you doing out here? You know, and they basically said that, like, a lot of other people had already, like, collapsed in the heat, and he highly suggested that I hightail it home. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So, not only was I going to stop anyway, but then um, I had somebody kind of stop by and go, are you stupid? Clearly you are. So anyway, I came back home. I'm literally just soaking wet. Um, I'm a little, I, ha I can't lie, you know, I, I get bummed when I don't do exactly what I planned, but um, I might do a little running in place and some extra uh, cardio here in my air conditioned condo, for which I'm very thankful. Um, but I did. I did bring this with me. I did bring my water with me and I placed it on the track, so it was good. Um, also, a couple of things. So, I don't know if I put this up on my 
vlog from Monday. Um, but this is my first week of Valerie's new program, Action Hero Bay. Um, I like it. I uh, tomorrow, so I've done two of the workouts. Tomorrow will be the third, so I'll let you know. It's burn. Well, the, she has names for each circuit um, thing. One's build, one's burn. I think it's build, burn, sculpt. Um, with the other one, it was uh, no idea. Um, look what I got in the menu. Okay, you guys know. If you're new to my blog, look at the tags on the side of my blog. And if you just watch me on YouTube, so I, I'm, I'm actually surprised how many of you watch me on YouTube and don't know how to how, where my blog is. It's kellyalexa.com. K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A.com. Why am I doing this with my finger? I have no idea. Um, but anyway, if you look at the tags on my blog on the uh, right-hand side, you'll see I have been a huge fan of Kathy. Side note, is there a way that I cannot have, is that with a, a head, what is it that I can use underneath the baseball hat to prevent, because it's starting to bother me on my runs, I have sweat pouring in my eyes and it stings, or do I just have to man up and deal with it? We'll find out. Anyway, I'm a huge, huge fan of Kathy. In fact, I think of all the DVD workouts that I have, hers are always the toughest always worth the money, always, she not only has, okay, so not only does every workout have usually, they're, they're never like these 20 minute workouts, sorry, I shouldn't say it like that, like 20 minute workout, there's nothing bad with a 20 minute workout, what I'm saying is the value that you get when you buy hers, um, her DVDs, so most of her workouts will always be at least 60 minutes, around 55 minutes, then she has like, you can mix and match each, so it, say it's like, um, a muscle max. You can actually go and pick and just do the specific body parts you want, or you can do premixes. So she'll have like upper body blast, glute blast, shoulder blast, whatever. So she has all these like premixes. So if the main if the main thing is um, like you know I love butts and guts. Butts and guts is like an hour and ten minutes if you do the whole thing. But then there's all these premixes. One's just for glutes. One's just for core. Butts, guts, get it, guts. Um, one just would be for the legs. One would be for, you know, whatever. So she has all these premixes on there. These are her two latest. Um, now I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a challenge because I am not coordinated. I want to be coordinated step, but for those of you that know, I suck at step. So I am going to give this my all because not only do I love Kathy, and she's the most awesome person, one of the most awesome people in the fitness business, she has said yes to be on our um, fitness advisory board at Fitfluential, so everybody's going to get to learn about her. Um, but this one, Crossfire, looks like this is Tabata, which you know I love me some Tabata. Firewalker Tabata. Oh, Crossfire, Circuit Blast, Plyo Tabata. Okay, excited about this. And then this is more um, step, and then there's hit in there, compound leg work and core. Um, and look, one, two, three, four, four premixes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine time savers, which is, you know, who does that? She's so awesome. Um, very excited about that. Really liking the um, Action Hero Babe uh, workouts. I just, you know, obviously, I've always been a fan of Val's workouts. I'm just, sometimes I'm amazed. You, you look at the moves, when you print them out, you look at the moves and you're like, it's really gonna be and then the thing is is that the way she's having you do it you do it and you just do not stop and you don't stop between your circuits so you go through circuit one and then circuit two and then circuit three and then you stop briefly and then you do the next one literally like you're just screaming at the end um, and and I've moved up in my weights and I just love some of the moves and, and these ab moves my god I've never I don't think in probably three years I've Y'all know, I have not been focusing on my core, and I am feeling it, like I'm walking around feeling it. Of course, I can't wait until I feel a lot less on my core. I was in my bikini yesterday at the pool, and um, I will tell you, I feel much better, um, and I'm being kinder to myself, because in the past I would have been like, you're disgusting, you can't go to the pool. Again, I'm getting over that, but um, really looking forward to saying goodbye to this last bit of lovely older age belly fat that showed up. Okay, we're doing it. That's all there is to it. Mr. Flow, there you go. Mr. Flow, <clears throat> feeling better. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? That's it. I'm enjoying running, obviously, because I'm a mad woman. 
um, enjoying my workouts. Eating is good. I, I have to say, I um, now yesterday when I was at my friend's house, I did have like I had a broth, and um, then I was like in one of those like meeting. I told you guys, once in a while I get these things where I feel like my body is telling me I've always had this um, where I need beef. So I had a um, my mom and I went out to dinner and um, I had a burger for dinner. I just had beef all day yesterday. Um, so I've told you guys that I've still been getting my results even with um, like that one week that Aunt Flo was in town. There were two cheeseburgers. Um, so I've had the, you know, but again, it's different because I'm choosing to do it. I'm, I'm not, you know, going, oh, okay, well I had a cheeseburger. I might as well order dessert and an appetizer and then I might as well blow the whole day. It's like, no. This is the meal that I'm having right now, and I'm balancing it out, and the next day I'm gonna be that much better. I have a much better attitude about it, I'm not freaking out. Um, there are much fewer, and, and I'm not, day to day, I'm just not sitting around, except for the occasional when my body kind of gets that way. I've just always been that way, with occasionally needing beef. I don't sit around all day going, oh, wish I could have this, wish I could have this. There's certain things that are always gonna sound good. I really enjoy what I'm eating. I'm just also in this annoying phase right now where I'm supposed to be moving any day. No idea when I'm gonna get an email that says, by the way, you're moving in two days. So I'm not exactly buying a lot of groceries. I'm ordering a lot of Jimmy John's Unwitches, if you know what I mean. I'm looking forward to getting in the next phase of my life. And there's part of me that I'm telling you, I'm just so tired of this, selling this house, looking for a new place, and dealing with, just dealing with this, I, I'm tempted to like, there was part of me where I was like, I'm gonna put all my stuff in storage and just travel, you know, for a year. Maybe like keep my stuff at my parents' house. My parents were like, excuse me? <laughs> because I have a lot of traveling to do. I was gonna go down to Miami, see my friend Kelly, go to LA, you know, tie it in with business but I have friends all over that I can visit. I actually thought about that for a while, just because I'm so sick of looking for places. This happened to me when I was looking for this, right after this place after my divorce. And I looked and it was either, I would lose out on the houses that I want to someone else, or the homeowner or the renter, whoever, would be so difficult that I'd be like, forget it, I just, it's, there's no joy in this anymore. And that's kind of how I feel right now. I should be excited to move into a new place, and I'm not, I just want this over with. Is that bad? I feel like there's a child out on my deck, and I live on the second floor. It's like that one time when I got that phone call from myself at one in the morning. My life is a reality show waiting to happen. Um, I have to go, and I hope you guys had a really great 4th of July, and um, that's it. Talk to you later.